Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth video on my channel. This is your host LDS Samosas and today I will be giving you another tour of my base. This time at the 80 hour mark. So let's go! Alright guys, so to start off with this tour, I will be giving you a little bit of background on the server. So if you have watched the first video of the of the server, then you can go ahead and skip ahead. But if you haven't, the basically the story behind this server is we're a little server known as the Enderman Society. We are built, we are modeled after Hermitcraft so that we can have, you know, that vanilla experience, but instead of, you know, like Dream SMP where you, it's just all lore and gameplay and stuff, we just, you know, we build and we have fun as normal human beings so um anyway we are late into this season so a lot of the members have started you know finishing up with their stuff and getting off you know for the last time of the season or for pretty much the last time of the season but um i have just recently gotten back into the server so I'm just starting out. This is week two, or the end of week two. Anyway, um, there have been a few other people who have just joined this late into the season, so we kind of have started to team up. Um, the two specifically I have teamed up with are Lady Ames and Lavender Tea. So, they're a lot of fun to play around with, and they have been very helpful in the the new project that we have decided to um start so yeah that i will get that new project i will get into a bit later in the video so for now let's just focus on what's changed in the base so in the base we have now a creeper farm that's kind of the biggest visual change we it's not that productive it's Mainly just so that I can say I have a creeper farm and so we can have gunpowder for things more like a few rockets if we need it or because I'm the only one who has an elytra so far. And yeah, so here's what it's produced so far with a little bit of take already been taken out. But yeah, um, anyway, to continue on, we have the lava super smelter that I mentioned in the previous video. It was a fun project. I had, um, a, it brought me a lot of joy to see it finished. And so, yeah, here it is. The building or the exterior to it is not finished, of course, because that, when do I ever finish things? But it works. All I do, I took out the chest so that I could put in shulker boxes that I had loaded up with sand. But yeah, um, it just works by you put in the input and this sends once it's filled it sends it off starts it up and the lava farm powers it i mean yes you have to be here for the lava farm but other than that it's you kind of it's kind of just a refill station you know the next change is the villagers that i have not honestly done a lot of work on the villagers i kind of have been working on other projects with a few side things for the villagers like or a few side jobs being the villagers but that's it that lady ames and lavender for the specifically i believe lady ames has has been working on the villagers a lot lavender has worked a lot as well but we'll see what lavender is done later so for right now we've got these villagers and then yeah Next, we're going to go over to see this greenhouse. I personally like the greenhouse. It's a, uh, it's pretty nice. I need to fix that. That happened while I was, that little notch. I didn't. I accidentally broke a um roof piece, and I just had to fix it up quick. So put a block instead of a slab or a stair. Um. So this greenhouse is where I originally breed up my bees for a. Or something you'll see later. So yeah. Beehives. These all have bees. All of them. 
except for like uh somewhere i don't know but yeah um mo there's even a few live bees in here so yeah they're, they're cute i like them so moving on um this this island i flattened out um so that i could get cats that was before the greenhouse was built and so yeah next we have this forest that was cleared by me um i cleared it so that i could have a easy access up this mountain but and you'll see why in a bit Ooh, anything interesting oh i already seen this one never mind um but here's where i grew all the these flower arrangements are where i grew all the birch trees for the bees and then here is my bee farm. I like it. It's it's a simple design. I believe Pixel Rifts is the one who showcased it uh, at some point. Yeah, we've got a bunch of honeycomb and honey bottles. And yeah. This is what Lavender Tea has been working on. This is the elevator all the way up to um the hill, the top of the hill. It's a gorgeous build. I applaud it. Um, and yeah. I, I absolutely love it. So thank you, Lavender, for working on this amazing build. So this shoots you up all the way to the top of the hill where you'll see a forest. Well, part of a forest. This part has been cleared. Here we go. Here it is. The start of the villager trading hall. So... I needed, I grew these for leaves, that's it. Um, I made some custom trees, which I think turned out quite nicely. And, yeah. Um, I used a few tricks like, um, mixing spruce wood with dark oak slabs and dark oak plank stuff. And then, if you go inside, and then there's the warehouse, of course. This is a steampunk kind of style warehouse. It's not done and it won't be done for a, maybe another week, but I think it looks great. Um, so inside we have, of course, this steampunky style flooring. Um, it needs, the copper needs to be waxed. That's why I built the bee farm. Um, that's like literally the only reason I built the bee farm because we're going to be using a lot of copper in this build. So, um, anyway, here it is. Um, I came up with this railing design. I thought it looked nice, but it's these chains over, um, I guess I could have used lightning rods, but I guess chains are okay. But this is nearly entirely um iron with the exception of the you know acacia slab but you know iron bars chains cauldrons and anvils the anvils are there because they look one they look nice two they're useful and then uh, some other work that i've done is put in the zombies or at least for the one complete side so this side already has the zombies in they have a little deep slate on um, mini block head with an axe, all of them. So yeah, that's how I keep them from despawning. They're not name tagged or anything because I guess I guess we could I could silence them, but that's okay. Anyway, that is pretty much all the progress that has been made this week. There's been so much chopping, so much clearing, so much everything, but it looks it's it's been worth it because everything that it's um allowed to happen has been beautiful so yeah i i think the only other thing that's oh shoot i just realized i don't have my elytra i think the only other thing that's really been done is my elytra of course i've acquired that i still haven't changed into armor so or into diamond armor so yeah, but here is what I'll do now. I am going to give you guys a flyby of the base. Go.
Alright guys, so that is going to do it for today. It's been a lot of fun this week, playing and building and just doing what I want in the server. So, yeah, it, it's been a long one, but we've made a lot of progress and I'm very happy with it. So, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like, maybe subscribe, um, if you want to see more content from me. And yeah, anyway... That's all, and have a great day. Peace.